Vectorworks Architect allows you to create something called a wall projection and a wall recess. I've got a very deep wall here. You can see it just there. And I've created this 3D object here, this solid addition, which I've made out of a combination of objects that I've joined together. I can add that object to the wall. Now, the, why would you do that? Well, when you move the wall, you'll notice that my wall projection doesn't move at the moment. But if I add that object to my wall, so what you do is you select your solid object, you select your wall, and then AEC, create wall projection. And my cut plane height is about 1500, so it's through the middle of the window. Now, when I move my wall, you'll notice that my wall projection goes with it. So it's now tied to the wall. But what about when I use this window and I move this window in amongst my wall projection? Let's see what happens there. And you can see that Vectorworks actually creates a hole around my wall projection so that my window is still visible. So it treats the wall projection like a part of the wall. Now let's have a look at the wall recess. So there's my object there, it's just a little extrusion, and that's my wall. So I'm now going to go to AEC and I'm going to create a wall recess. Let's render that. Now, if I look at it in plan view, I should be able to drag that window along and put it in amongst my wall recess. Let's have a look at that again. And you'll see that my window is half in and half out of that wall recess. So the idea of creating a wall recess and creating a wall projection should make it a lot easier to model the very complex buildings that we draw.